Jada sneaker guy Got the people's eye Yeah, I keep that vibe Better watch me now The heat I'm popping now If that lace ain't popping out Then I'ma swap it out Jada sneaker guy 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 You Two Bam Uh what is going on today with y'all, man? Glad to have y'all back, man. I truly appreciate y'all for pulling back up, man. Today, we got a special one. Why special? I'm going to say it's special because it's something out of the ordinary. Although, although I have hit y'all with something similar to this recently, man. Your boy is kind of, you know, sparking the interest in, in another type of shoe, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm kind of venturing out of, of Jordans. I ain't even gonna say Nike because I just be lying, but uh, I'm venturing a little bit outside of, of, of Jordan and you know, I'm, I'm testing new waters, you know what I'm saying? To see, you know, what I can style up and what I can do, man. It's, it's always good to, to change. Change is good, change is good. We'll leave it at that, you know what I'm saying? So I have been checking out this in particular shoe i have been learning a lot about it as far as the shapes of the 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 shoe there's two different types and and so on and so forth and um i've come to like this this in particular type of shoe man and um y'all seen the title y'all already know what it is i only know i'm talking like y'all don't know what's up but uh that is none other than the nike sb man so yes the nike sb they come in many shapes sizes highs lows fat Whoa. thin slim up uh, you, you already know man if you know you know but uh hey this nike sb is in the same type of form it's like that slim form is what i like to call it you know what i'm saying it's just like that that chunky donkey um look which i have fell in love with man i love my chunky donkeys man and big shout out to goat for sending me a new chris pell man hey truly appreciate that if y'all haven't checked out that video make sure y'all check out what is it uh paid over 1k and goat sent me these i think that's the name of that video make sure y'all check it out i got a part one and part two but anyways man back onto the topic of this i have felt in love you know what i'm saying well i have grown to like i'm i don't want to say i'm in love yet you know what i'm saying but i have grown to like the nike sbs man and um it is the new wave so hey am i on the wave i I don't know, but hey, it is what it is, man. But this is your first time stopping through checking out any of the family's content or you are a returning visitor. Glad to have y'all back. And um, see the OGs back there in the back, man. I truly appreciate y'all. I truly appreciate y'all. Let me go ahead and give y'all y'all respect. Hey, appreciate y'all. Everybody that has jumped along along the way as well, too. But uh, hey, newcomers, we would like for y'all to stick around and um, be a part of the family by hitting that subscribe button. We are on the road to 50. I don't, I don't know what my numbers is doing, but 50. We on the road to 50K, man. We approaching it. But, hey, go ahead and jump aboard, and we would truly appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, man, today is SB Talk, man. So, let's check out these SBs that we got. <sighs> appreciate that, Sherman. Appreciate that. Bang. 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 Nike SB box, man. You see one up there. Those are my Chunky Dunkies. That's the only other SB I got in my collection. I got rid of my Grateful Deads. Cause uh just got rid of him, man. But uh, as I said, big shout out to the homie Sherman for uh assisting me on these. This is not my pair. I actually thought about getting a pair, man, but I'm not trying to drop no 700 on these shoes, man. If I would have got them for retail, I would have loved to have them, but I'm I'm not. I don't love them yet. You know what I'm saying? If I loved them, I'd drop 700 on them, but I'm not there yet. But these are in fact a very dope shoe, man. So hey. Big shout out to Sherman. I will leave his Instagram information down below, man. He does sell kicks such as these, man. So do not sleep all legit. I've been rocking with him for a little while, man. Um, I believe his Instagram is Genius Strings. I'm I'm just freestyling this. So don't quote me on that, but I will link it down below, man. But hey, big shout out to you, Sherman, man. You good people. You know, your fam. Hey, all good people. I truly appreciate this, man. But uh, yeah, man, you get your Nike SB box on this one. Colorful, colors, colors, you know, regular SB stuff, man. Taking a look at the size tag on it. It reads Nike SP, SP, Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS. This is a quick strike, man. This is a size eight, and the color blocking is metallic copper. What is that? Kurt, yeah, metallic copper, that's it. 
and um they retail for 110 dollars man that is like the the good thing about sbs they always retail for a fair price and the details and quality on them is like it's crazy for what they retail for man but opening up the lid we do not get a lot number we usually see on like nikes and jordans and stuff but um nothing on the top of the lid but on this paper right here man i i you know i didn't do my research i i want to guess that it's like a map or something man it looks like i see some like continents maybe or i i think it's continents i'm i'm or it well it might be food i don't know it's got to be something to do with food because it says fried cut cut bro cuttlefish it has different names of food written all over the paper man so details already as soon as you open up the the box you get details right there but this is i forgot it's um some sort of a like collab with with food they got like some sort of foods mixed into the shoe from what i heard like i said man hey sbs ain't your boys lame but I'm, I'm learning man but more foods you know what i'm saying you got food written all over that paper when you pull that one down you do get that white regular paper that you see on quite a few nikes and when we pull that one down bam beautiful beautiful shoes man the nike sb street hawker i believe that's the name of these shoes very clean um i do let me take them both out real quick let me take them both out man i do prefer i ain't gonna hold you i do prefer this shoe the left shoe i prefer the left shoe over the right shoe let me pull out the right shoe and let y'all see what both of them look like y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions on them let me be very delicate with this because as i said this is not my pair and um i need to treat it like it's golden because i want to give it back to him in the same uh condition that he gave them to me in so go ahead and put that there man and close this up bam okay so here we have them y'all nike sb street hawkers these already released these are uh about probably almost a week old now um very very clean shoe man um like i said the sb this type of model is that slim it's not that chunky like fat skateboarder look sb although i think all sbs are skateboard shoes but it doesn't have that like that old school what, what you call them thing heelys it don't got that fat chunky heelys type shoe vibe on these like the grateful dads had that fat chunky look on them but these you know these are more slim down and um they dope man and like i said i am loving this shoe more than this shoe i mean this is kind of uh, uh, if we would have had two shoes that look just like this man i probably would have dropped that bread on them. i probably would have dropped it man but taking a look at the left shoe we'll go ahead and start reviewing here since this is my favorite um you do get this what color is this this is like a a light blue uh um just a light blue you got this light blue on the bottom very very light blue on the bottom you do got your hit of white regular nike sb bottom on these and taking a look above that you got your white midsole going all throughout it then you got that dope touch of that blue that dark navy blue stitching right there that you can see in the middle that you know what i'm saying that's holding the upper and the midsole together nice touch you know what i'm saying to put that navy blue right there moving up above that man on the uppers you get a lot going on man you got like this pattern um which like i said this might all be some sort of food you know what i'm saying but you do get a canvas material all throughout the front of the shoe around the toe cap area all throughout the front and it goes all around the whole shoe man nice little canvas printing all around that whole area and let's go ahead and get back to the front real quick you do got like this this nice frayed up but soft suede you know what i'm saying it's a furry a furry suede but very very soft to the touch and it's in a gray colorway um taking a look at the side panel it does look like you get like a cracked look you know what i'm saying it looks really it looks like marshmallows you know what i'm saying when you cook marshmallows to a certain point it gets that brown look to it 
This is how it looks. It looks like a bunch of marshmallows like right down one area. Best way for me to describe it at this current moment. But um, moving up above that, you get that brown Nike swoosh, which looks like it has like a wooden look to it. As you can see, it got them lines through it, man. So SB, hey, one thing about SBs, they got details, man. And um, I. I love that. I love the details that they put in them and I never paid attention to the SBs until recently. Man, I was like, dang, I'm loving the details on these shoes, man. Um, right here on the back, you do have some sort of a Chinese logo, I believe, right there on the back. Man, I do not know what that is, but you can see it right there. And uh, you do get your lime or lime, yeah, lime green around your ankle collar right there. You got your Nike SB tag right here on the tongue and you got that golden yellow look around it you know what i'm saying and uh taking a look at the back of the shoe you get that chinese symbol which i do not know what that means and you're like golden yellow little hit right there on the back nice little touch of leather right there in that small little area as well as around that that on um, ankle collar and um on the inside of this shoe you got that it looks like a sky you know what I'm saying? It looks like the sky right there. And then you got your Zoom Air written. You got your Nike SB logo. Um, you got your size and tag. These were manufactured from, what is that? June. June through September. So three month production on these. If y'all can check that out right there. So I'm going to just show y'all this shoe tag. I'm not going to show y'all the other shoe tag because we will be here forever in a day, man. But that is it for the left shoe white laces come standard in the left shoe um we'll talk about the laces more because it does come with an extra set of laces on them and um bam while we on the topic of laces on your right shoe you do get a set of lime green and sale laces that come with them so you know you can swap them out that's a total of four different laces and they all will mismatch because you do not have two of the same color so everything will have to mismatch in some some way shape or form but uh taking a look at this one you do get that yellow outsole sb outsole same white hit right there in the middle on this one you get the white stitching rather than having a colored stitching on the left shoe but you know what i'm saying you got that white or it's a gray maybe it might be a gray it looks like it's a gray gray stitching going all around your midsole moving up to the upper of this one now you do get this it, I don't, it looks like a floral type look you know what i'm saying or something it, it's not really it's not a floral because it's not flowers but it does give me floral vibes you know what i'm saying but uh this is not really a canvas material it's more dang it's more of a a leather some sort of a leather a very very stiff and hard leather but it goes all throughout the whole shoe the same that you had on the canvas material on the left shoe so you get two total different materials on each shoe details which is dope but uh i just wish that they they would have kept it all that left shoe but you know it is what it is man it's, i'm getting what the things like crazy from these but um on the side right here it does look like it has like an ostrich type pattern on this this uh orange it's like an orange or clay it's a clay orange color that we have right here on this side pod but um i do get the ostrich vibes with that that detailing on there then you got your silver swoosh on this one which is just pretty standard pretty uh standard to any nike swoosh and um moving on from that around the back ankle collar you get that light blue head going all around the ankle collar and you got that brown hit with that chinese logo right there in the back and um, taking a look at the front of the shoe, this one does have a gold toe and it is leather. It feels like it has a, a paint, like if someone were to paint this themselves and you feel it, it feels like you can feel where somebody painted this. Like it, all, it almost has like a sticky type feel to it. You know what I'm saying? But you do got that gold toe on this one. Um, crimson, whatever you wanna call that. But uh, right here around your ankle collar, you got uh, another clay orange type look but it does have a like a satin type hit to it going around that ankle collar which is dope and you do got your nike sb branding black and red on the tongue you got your little hit of that color right there going along the top of it extra laces we already talked about but on the inside of this one it is dope man you got like a it looks like a painting some sort of a painting design and it does have that nike sb logo in there 
Um, I know I'm all over the place. I know it means more than what I'm explaining it to, but hey, y'all give me some time to get my SB uh, knowledge right because I do not know nothing about SBs right now. But that's pretty much it, man. It does come with this type of shoe paper in it, as you can see. No shoe tree, it just has that regular Nike shoe paper in there, man. And um, these are dope, man. A lot of these SBs that's been coming out lately have been catching my attention. Um, I haven't been getting any because I've been kind of like, oh, I ain't with the SBs, oh, but I ain't gonna hold you. What really changed my mind was picking up a pair of those chunky donkeys. I do love how the SBs look, and um, I love the creativity on them, man. So these are very dope. Um, I was gonna get a pair, but the deal didn't fall through, so I wasn't even tripping. I was like, hey, it is what it is. But um, hey, big shout out to Sherman again, man, for letting me review these, man. These are beautiful shoes, and uh, hey, who knows, man? Y'all might see more SBs coming to the channel, man. Hit that like button. Let me know y'all feedback, y'all thoughts on these. And if y'all would like to see me bring more SBs to the channel. And if I do do that, there will be on feats and such on these, man. And hey, who knows? We'll be swapping them out, man. That's what we do over here, man. But hey, that's it for the Nike SB Street Hawkers. Very dope, very creative shoe. I wish both of them looked like this. But um, hey, I ain't tripping. They clean, man. Um, So, scale from 1 to 10. Uh... Nine, I get these a nine, man. Very, very creative, man. I love what they did with this, man. But uh, hey, we out, man. Till the next time, your boy Jada Sneaker guys checking out with the Street Hawker SBs. And um, I know this don't seem like me by by saying that, but uh, hey, 2021, man. Let's get it. Y'all stay blessed. I'm gone. Peace.